Hi, I'm Sarah Walker Thornton, and I'm the director of Dragons Love Tacos at MCT. And I'm Emily Morrison, and I'm the stage manager of Dragons Love Tacos at MCT, and I'm also the education director here at Missoula Children's Theater. We are so excited that you got to come and see our show. It was so much fun to have you here. This post-show video is a look behind the scenes of Dragons Love Tacos. You'll get to know the cast a little bit more, the actors, and you will get to know the people who did all the behind the scenes magic to make the show happen. We're so glad that you came to see Dragons Love Tacos. We hope you come back and see us again really soon at Missoula Children's Theater. Bye. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. My name's JJ and I play the yellow dragon. My name is Rachel Scholl and I am playing the person in suit, as you can see. Hi, my name is Kayla and I play the red dragon. Hi, I'm Elijah Miller and I play the white dragon. Hi, my name is Andrew and I play Leroy the dog. Hello, my name is Kristen Sheeter and I play the blue dragon. This character is what we call an extrovert, which I am not. I am an introvert, uh, so we are very, very different in that aspect. I have never popped out of a TV before, despite my best efforts. And my favorite part about my character is that he's a dancer. Are we very similar? Yes, we are. My favorite thing about my character is how nice my dragon is, and I think I do relate to uh, my character. I would say that I am quite a bit like my character. Leroy is very supportive of the boy throughout this entire adventure, and I try to be supportive of all of my friends in their various adventures as well. And I do like to play ball. My favorite thing about my character is the fact that he eats dogs, but he's not like me because I don't eat dogs. In fact, I have two of them at home. I'm actually very much like the blue dragon, or at least I was growing up when I was younger. I really struggled in social situations. I would get really shy and nervous. What I really like about the blue dragon in this show is the blue dragon gets a lot of confidence by the end of the show because she is feeling so much more comfortable around her other dragon friends and around the young boy and Leroy. My favorite part of my character is that he acts all tough but he's actually like really emotional. And he has all the expressions and stuff. Like, um, and um, he relates to me a little bit, I guess. We've got a connection. Um, I think that my favorite children's book growing up was No David, um, the one about the bad little kid doing a bunch of stuff that he's not supposed to be doing. Very mischievous. My favorite children's book when I was growing up is called Ping the Duck, and it's about a little duck on the Yangtze River in China, and he gets lost, and it's all about him finding his way home, and it's very sweet. My favorite book when I was little was called The Stinky Cheese Man. If you haven't read it, I highly recommend it. My favorite uh, story that I read as a child growing up would be Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. I liked this one book called Nest. It was like a picture book and it had like one word on each page and a picture on the other. It was a cool book. My favorite children's book is Stella Luna, the one about the bat. My favorite children's book is Miss Nelson is Missing. absolute favorite moment of the show is the chaos that ensues when we eat our salsa on our tacos and all the fire. It's a lot of fun. And my favorite part of the show is when all of the dragons first arrive and the yellow dragon gives Leroy a bone because Leroy is a little bit afraid of the dragons but then he gets a treat and so they're not so scary anymore. My favorite moment in the show is the game of charades because the yellow dragon is very good at acting it out, but person in suit just can't get it. And so it's, it's very fun to just keep guessing. 
My favorite part of the show is the fire scene. It's spectacular. My favorite part of the show is probably my rivalry with Leroy, the dog. My favorite part of the show is probably when the audience gets to guess all of the um, mellow toppings because like, I get to act all frustrated and I like acting frustrated. I think that my favorite part of the show would have to be the fire scene. I don't want to give away too much, but it's a lot of fun. I'll catch you later. Hi, I'm Abby. I'm the technical director of MCT, um, and I help put together the set for Dragons Love Tacos. My favorite part was making the walls fall down and making the roof swing. I think that that was super fun. All right, so these are the walls that fall down during the show. So I'm gonna show you. It's just a little clip on the other side, and then they just come right down. One of the fun parts about doing this show was that I had a photo of from the last time that we did the show of the set, and I got to put together all the pieces again and figure out how to recreate it. So this is the secret door, which the person in suit uses to exit and come onto stage. So it opens just like that, TV. And then we have a fog machine here that shoots out for when they exit. Yeah. Hi, I'm Leslie Washburn and I am the lead properties artisan here at MCT. Um, I made all the props for the wonderful show Dragons Love Tacos, including lots of tacos and even more tacos. You know, who doesn't need a suitcase full of tacos? Got to make a lot of really fun uh, props for Dragons Love Tacos, including the, the mind-blowing, earth-shattering, titillating secrets of Dragons book. Um, it's a big phone book, so it's not actually really heavy, but what's fun is only some of the pages are real, and in it I got to add some of the illustrations of some of the dragons. I really love the last one, which is in color. And then I got to put that on a much smaller version of our um, person in suit, and that was a lot of fun. Hi, I'm Ellie. I'm uh, the costume designer for Dragons Love Tacos. Um, it was really fun to design this. Um, we did do it a couple years ago, so I had a little bit of a framework to work with, but I did want to make it more uh, magical this year. So I found this pattern um, for these dragon uh, masks that we turned into hats. Um, so they sit right on the head like this. And it was originally a um, leatherworking pattern, but I sort of manipulated it and turned it into a sewing pattern. So that was really fun, and I got a lot of really excited people um, noticing these masks, so that was fun. Um, we also added little eyeballs to make them um, even more realistic, even though dragons aren't real. Costumes were a really uh, fun part of this show because 